Right, another video with following on from the Solvia and Coagula. Right, yeah, the Arvernus Solvia in the Solvia family. Um, researcher, industrialist, key figures behind Leopold Park as a science park. Leopold, Leo the Lion and fought a science as his fifth child. Yeah. Solvia and Company. It's a Solvi, as an international chemical company, founded in 1863. Bit of an Ouroboros thing, isn't it? Yeah. Not sure exactly what it does here, like with chemicals. Sodium carbonate, chemicals and plastics. Ernest and Alfred Solvia. Solvia and Co Coagula. Here's the Solvias. The Solvia family. Then the Masonic Yoni Sonnen. No doubt all involved in the Freemasonry. And yeah, that name has to has to basically come from the Solvia and Co Coagula. This is Queen Matilda attending the Solvia Gala. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that is like. Definitely a tea drinker. Queen Matilda attending the Solvia Gala in Netherlands. There's Ernest Galton, Jewess of Solvia. The gal. Yeah, no, a tea drinker, definitely, any. Ernest Galton. Jew as a Soviet. Queen Matilda turned the Soviet Gala. The Solvia Conference. Yeah. They've worded outstanding open problems in physics and chemistry. Invitation only. Tea drinkers only as well, like. Albert Einstein, yeah, Albert Einstein was a attendant of these um, Solvia con conferences. Call a congress, yeah, like con anyway, like whatever it's called, isn't it? And um, Albert Einstein went there uh, because he accepted the invitation of Dr. Chaim Wiesman. Chaim as the same as in James, see, Chaim Wiesman, the wise man. 
chime as we'll vizmen. The biochemist. The biochemist. Yeah, what the biochemistry is all about. And then the first president of Israel. The father of industrial fermentation. to and butanol ethanol fermentation process another attendee of the Soviet conferences Werner Karl Heisenberg theoretical physicist and one of the key pioneers of quantum mechanics Pascual Jordan Matrix formulation, matrix mechanics, the uncertainty principle, very useful to these tea you see, Elizabeth Schumacher, Jochen, Jochen Heisenberg, Nuclear physics. So no doubt, right, these Solvia conferences on chemistry, right, have something to do with the tea here, yeah, ideas, and the sort of making of the medicines, in the, um, you know, whatever they use in this tea yeah, process. It's got to be something to do with it, see. All the different, um, you know, people that go along to it and all that, get invited along and all that. In organic chemistry, it's all got to be the day with the, um, this, and it, this, all got to be the day with it. <laughs> Chemical evolution, see what I mean? This is what goes on in these type of, um, you know, these high you know, lordy door conferences and all this. This is what it's all about, eh? That's what they're discussing things like this. Sharing the um, new discovery on, you know, methods and different uh, discoveries about uh, drugs and what have you, see? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Solvia Institutes Solvia Institutes 100% in it And you type in this read in, the, in there this so you get this See so I've connected to it now right? Global leader in materials and solutions and chemicals me doubt it's one of me just sort of companies or whatever involved in all this stuff in it the old solvia company new step and transformation i don't really know what this one is but it came up in the in the start search and um they were transmutation, 
transmutation. No pretty transmutation, the whole lot of them. And a while ago, the Solvia family was involved in this year. Uh, it was a Chateau de Amaroy or something, which was on the um, it was on the internet, and this was basically just a hex that they were supposed to hunt, you know, hunt children and yeah, you know, rape them and kill them and all this. And it's basically a hex. And it was linked to that Mark Dutru. It was yeah, the Dutru. Yeah, which is double true, you know, it's like a two three idea, it's like a thirty three do true. Yeah, so that was basically a hex. Yeah, and it was the day with all this stuff centering around the uh, what was it called? Shot with the Amaroi or something, say the Illuminati and all this stuff. And it was all a hex. I remember that at the time, like it was a few years ago now. Yeah, you know, it was a hex. And then there was these ideas that the, the family tried to, the family of one of the little girls or whatever, tried to uh, sue them in the court and they couldn't do it. Um, uh, the family in, in the court tried to sort of get justice through the courts and they couldn't get any justice because they sort of, you know, this, these families were so powerful and exerted so much influence and power, you see what I mean? It's like, that's that rich and powerful a uh, hexagon in it, that Illuminati type of thing, see? It's very similar to the sort of idea about Jesus, where Jesus, like, um, you know, they wanted you to believe that uh, even God's son couldn't, uh, you know, get justice against these powerful families and all this. Because yeah, they're so powerful, you see what I mean? So it's the power idea, the rich and powerful family idea, you see? This is just another part of it, say another part of this network. Asking more from chemistry, it's basically involved in hormone pills and stuff like that, see? The chemistry, the science and all that. Probably other things and all, like making plastics and what have you, you know what I mean? But it's, uh, it's got to be involved in all that, see? So that's why they create the hex, you know, revolving around the type of sex abuse and satanic murder and all these ideas say to protect what they really are which is tea drinkers see solvia the solvia and the coagulas tea drinkers see chemical tea drinkers and there's even a rainbow see what i mean it's like that rich and powerful idea you know in a pact with satan the devil or something you say of course and there's such thing as that, you know what I mean? May as well believe in Mickey Moose or Donald Duck or something, you know what I mean?